بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما كثيرا ثم من بعد This is Sam Mahmoud, science teacher and we have here lesson, lesson number three in science for grade number four uh, Today guys our lesson will be about how do solids, liquids and gases behave uh, Last time we spoke about uh, three types of matter, the shape of matter and today we will understand to you know uh, how can this solids liquids and gases behave how they change uh, how can we act on them we have a small activity here guys uh, this is ice and this ice is a solid it will change into liquid as water and this water would change to water vapor or gas. Do you think, uh, what is the reason that make the three different shapes or the three different types of uh, matter? Can you think and say the true answer for this question? Okay. As you can see in the picture we have uh, source of heat and this source is Sun the Sun or the heat can change the solid to liquid and liquid to gas Excellent. Our objectives today uh, We need to know that most solids do not change shape number two We need to understand that liquids take the shape of the container and we will understand part of them inshallah the first question here guys can matter change its shape this is a very for the most question today the first type of matter that we will speak about it today is the solid can you see this boy he catch this chair and try to broke it or to change the shape of the chair or the table do you think he can okay first of all he cannot do it why because the shape of the solid or the particle the particles of the solid are connected together are very closely are um, strong particles so he cannot probe them or divide them so Try to squeeze, squeeze your desk, chair, or pencil. Can you make it a different shape? Most solids cannot be squashed into a different shape. Remember that particle model that we spoke about it uh, last lesson. These particles uh, in the solid are closely together connected very very strong connected together so they cannot uh, go away or they cannot change their shape easily so there is no space for the particles to take on a different shape we mean that there is no space between the particles so the shape of solids cannot be changed easily okay number two liquids uh, predict what will happen when you pour some water onto a flat surface <clears throat> sorry uh, this is a shape of particles there is a little space between the particles right so if you drop a little water uh, from your bottle on the ground the water will move and they will, it will take the shape of the ground or the water will take the shape of the container as you can see it here uh, this shape is not like this one and this one is not like this one and this one is not like uh, the water on the, on the surface so this shape is changed because of the space between the particles so uh, the shape of matter, even it's solid, liquid, or gas, it will change depending on the particles model. 
or the space between the particles. So this is the reason that a liquid can move and they can change their shapes. Uh, not same like uh, uh, solids. Okay. And here we are gases. If gases are uh, contained in something, they take on sh the shape of container. Uh, as you can see the pictures here, this girl play with the uh, bubble. So inside this uh, bubble, there is a gas inside it. So the, the shape of the gas, it can move freely and change very easy because there is a, a huge distance between the particles. They can move everywhere, in every place. There is, there is no here any force between the particles, as you can see in the uh, particles model. Okay. When there is no container gas spread it, if we, not, if we, we will not put them in a container, uh, they will not have any shape. They will move or spread in everywhere. Okay. Uh, we have a small uh, exercise here or activity. I need you to answer it. Please look at the particles and the picture of the two syringe uh, A and B. We have here A and B. So which syringe contains water and which one uh, contains air? Okay. If we need to know the difference between them, of course, we will know that through the particles model. There is a huge space here. There is no space. We have a space, but little bit, not same like this one. So which one is sol uh, liquid and which one is gas? Because solid, we cannot put it here. The solid will not move. Okay, exactly. This is gas in B, gas, and A is uh, liquid. So if we push it here and push the other one here, which one will move faster? and it will compress A or B exactly B will be more than A why? because of the huge uh, distance between the particles here we have distance here but little bit not seem like this one okay if we go to the shape number two we ask you here to draw an arrow on the pot picture uh, to show where the water will be when the rain has stopped it's a very easy question. Why? Because this liquid will take the shape of the container, will take the shape of the place, right? So the water will be here, or here, or here. Exactly, the water will be in this place. So we can draw, uh, we can draw it here. You can just use the pen and so the water will be here. We'll take the shape of this place. Okay. Okay. If we imagine that this is an air, do you think that this air Will be just only here of course no it will be everywhere because the air can move easily okay there is a huge distance between them so they can move easily but this is a liquid so the liquid will be only in this place okay guys thank you so much for your attention and uh, wish you all happiness inshallah thank you